Can you explain what a presidential primary is? A primary is a preliminary election in which voters cast their votes for a, for a specific nominee. As the nominees get more votes, they get more delegates to vote for them. If a nominee has a certain amount of delegates, for Republicans it's roughly 1,200 and Democrats roughly 2,500, they will attain the presidential vote. Primaries are particularly important because they decide which candidate will represent each party. Grant, do you plan on voting in this upcoming election? Yeah, I do plan on voting. Thanks, Thanks for asking, Kyle. Shane. Why do you think voting is important? Um, to have your voice heard in the presidential election. You gotta vote if you want someone to win. Why, do you, why is voting important to you? Because, I, especially me as a senior, we're gonna be 18. Most of the things, the next presidential election is really gonna affect us, especially those going to college. So, I think it's very important, even if it's just one vote. I do feel like voting is important, especially if you, uh, you have a strong opinion on um, a certain policy and you really feel like that needs to be implemented. I really feel like you should vote, yes. Because, you know, people control our country and the people need a voice, and I feel like voting is a part of that. Voting is important. Well, as a democratic nation, it's the whole point that the popular vote of the people get in who the popular vote votes for though uh, it doesn't seem that important overall because of the whole electoral college and everything that sort of trumps it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you think that people are discouraged not to vote because they feel as if their vote doesn't matter? Oh uh, yeah, especially in a small state Rhode Island, a, s a small state like Rhode Island, um, you find that it's never really talked about on like the big news channels about like the big states such as Ohio and the states like, like that, so I really feel like people in Rhode Island feel that their vote isn't that important, so maybe that's another reason that at a young age they don't vote. I think young people aren't voting because our system runs with the electoral college, so the popular vote doesn't really count for much. So a lot of people seem to think that their individual vote will make a difference. Um, my guess is that we are a few generations away from the Vietnam War, from Watergate, um, and I think those events may have poisoned the well when it comes to the parents and the guardians thinking in this, and that might trickle down. Uh, we live in an age where conspiracies seem to sell. So I think that um, we've jaded a generation, um, and that might account for why it's so low. Only 0.008% of millennials in the town of Bristol voted in the 2012 presidential primary. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I know I'm going to be voting. but. Um... That's a very small number, especially for Bristol. Grant Pierce, 2020. Uh, in the 2012 presidential primary, only 0.008% of millennials ages 18 to 29 in the town of Bristol voted. Why do you think that is? I honestly just feel like that, you know, they have a lot, lack of knowledge of what's going on in the election, and I kind of fi find that's a good thing that they didn't vote if they didn't know what was going on. It's better than uh, voting just kind of because you hear that there's someone's name a lot, such as Donald Trump, he's a popular candidate in this election. I feel like it's better to not vote if you don't know what's going on than to just kind of throw a random vote down. Ms. Towers, in, two th in the 2012 presidential primary, only 0.008% of millennials in the town of Bristol voted. Why do you think that is? Wow. Well, I, I, I can't really speak necessarily just to Bristol, but I think nationwide, it actually probably has something to do with the family dinner and the dissolution of the family dinner. So I know that in my family, when the kids are home, whatever was going on during the day, we talk about it. And if Donald Trump you know, did something weird on TV, like talked about his fingers and then indicated something else that was a little untoward, you know, we talk about that at dinner. You know, we, we might joke or talk about what's going on. But it, families, kids are so out there with sports and activities and parents' work hours are so long that I feel like there's not, the family dinner is, is the place where kids get sort of inspired by their parents' interest or whatever in whatever's going on politically or in the paper. And I think that is a, a, a big reason. I'm sure there are others. Thank you, Ms. Towers. In the 2012 presidential primary, only 0.008% of millenniums in the town of Bristol voted. Why do you think that is? I think, honestly, we're just lazy and we need to get our act together. I think that we don't care enough about our country and economy. We need more s discipline when it comes to voting. Thank you, Max Hammer Lawless. The town of Bristol has the uh, lowest percentage of people ages 18 to 29 that vote. Why do you think that is? 
Um, I don't think the younger people are really that interested. We didn't see anyone that convincing. Like, it, it could be laziness. I know some people just don't feel like it or get out there, but also, like, I'm not going to vote for someone that's, that it doesn't convince me at all. Like, if I find someone that I actually like, then I'll vote for them. But if there's two people that I don't care about, then I'm not going to vote for either of them. Because at that point, I just don't care. Yeah. Um, do you think that people get discouraged to vote because they feel as if their vote doesn't matter? Um, I, I feel that because sometimes it just seems like the over there's like one person that will be overwhelmingly voted for so in the end there's won't mat their vote won't matter some sometimes it does though but i can definitely feel or in the other perspective that i said about the electoral college a lot of people don't think their vote matters because they just don't think their vote influences what our uh electoral super delegates think in their vote so all right thank you voting is a very important thing and um, it's your opportunity to get a chip in the game. If you don't like the politicians that we have and you don't vote, it's your fault. However, you can influence the election with your votes. So, do yourselves a favor, do your country a favor, and register to vote.